Hey guys, so I'm back with a new video. Um, I got a new computer for graduation. I graduated high school. Um, reached 2,000 subscribers, which I didn't think would happen like this soon, which it wasn't like soon, but it's, it was still really cool. Um, thank you for that. Um, I'm here with a new, like with a summer, summery look. Didn't really know what I was doing when I went into this, but it's kind of like goldish. It's just like warm, warm tones, subtle, glowy. I will be making a lot more videos now, now that I have a new computer. And it'll be easier to edit on. My computer won't delete files that I've recorded, so... Um, yeah, I'm excited to make no more videos for you guys and for you to see them. If you do have any requests, leave them down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this look and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm using Estee Lauder's Flash Illuminator to start off my face and this will just give me a nice healthy glow underneath my foundation. Then I'm taking L'Oreal's True Match Foundation in number W4. I'm taking that with ABH Cosmetics Flat Top Kabuki Brush and buffing this all over my face. And I know this doesn't match my face, but it matches... Well, actually, it doesn't match my neck. But I'm blending it down my neck so that I can make it look like I am tan when I'm not. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Master Conceal in light, and I'm putting this under my eyes, on my forehead, chin, around the mouth, down my nose, and then I'm going to blend this out with another BH Cosmetics brush. I'm all using like mostly all BH Cosmetics brush today, brushes today, and this one's just a round buffing brush, and I'm blending my concealer out. Once I've blended out the majority of my concealer, I'll take a smaller, fluffier, not a fluffier, smaller fluffy brush and I'll blend out um, all the areas closer to my eyes. I'll put a little bit on my eyelid just to prime for eyeshadow. Then I'm taking Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage with my e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm sitting under my eyes and the rest of my face. The clip only shows a little bit. I powdered my entire face though. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 15 either L or I, but it's just a nice warm but not too warm bronzer. I really like it. It's not it's not too pigmented, but it's it just has the right amount of coverage for a bronzer, and it's a good color for me personally. Super subtle, but super nice. Then I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Bronze, and this is a very subtle glow. I mean, it's not very subtle, but if you like a subtler glow than a straight-up highlighter, this is really nice. Um, you can mix the colors, you can add, um, use them individually, but I like just a wash of this on the cheeks before my highlighter.
And I'm taking Becca's blush in Wild Honey. This is a very nice peachy terracotta shade. Um, it has a nice sheen to it. So again, sticking into the same, sticking with the same family of like sheens, glowy, bronzy colors for my face. I'm using this, and um, you really don't need all these products, but I'm just using them because I have them. Then I'm taking my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. I'm taking the highlighter shade, which is super, super pigmented. It is similar to Becca's Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Um, Jaclyn, uh, Champagne Pop is actually a little more gold than this, which is strange. I don't know. I thought it was strange because it looks, because this one looks more gold in the pan. But anyway, this, I, I like this one better. I like this formula better. Um, just because I like a very strong highlight, as you can see. Um, and I like applying my highlight with a fluffy brush like this one. This is also from BH Cosmetics. And I go to town with applying my highlighter. You do not need this much. Um, if, I mean, if you like this much, go ahead by all means. Use this much, but by no means do you have to do this too. Then I'm taking Max Nylon Eyeshadow um, just for a little bit of a lighter highlight on like the very tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm putting this, I'm putting nylon again um, on my brow bone just to enhance that highlight and make it more precise. Combing out my brows with a spoolie and then I use Laura Mercier's Coffee Ground Eyeshadow. Um, with an angled brush. I also use the one from BH Cosmetics. I personally do like that. I have tried the Anastasia um, brush. I don't remember which one it was. It's like the orange one. I do really like that one. I tried it on my friend. I really want to get it because it's super sharp. But this will, this will do for now. But I have found that it gets a little dull after a while. Okay. Makeup Geek peach smoothie. I'm taking this on a fluffy brush and putting this in my crease just as a transition shade. It'll help all the other shades um, and colors that we use after this blend better. So that's why use, we use transition shade. Makeup Geek's Tuscan Sun. This is very um, this is very pinky. It's like a berry color. I'm showing you these two fluffy brushes. One's smaller. This one's denser and it'll pack on the color a little bit um, more precise and more pigmented <clears throat> and then I'll go in back in with the um, super fluffy brush just to blend it out I know it's blurry but I wanted to show the step now I'm taking Makeup Geek's Latte and a pencil brush it's like a bigger pencil brush but I'm putting this in the lower crease this step really isn't necessary because you in the end you really can't even see it um, but I was doing this look for my first time. And I was just kind of playing around with all these colors. But this step really isn't necessary. But if you have the color, what the heck. Just do it. If you want. It doesn't matter. Build up the color slowly so that it's not too harsh. And then... Um, blend out the colors with a fluffy brush. You can use Peach Smoothie, Tuscan Sun, whichever. And then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Grand Stand Eyeshadow. This is a foiled eyeshadow. Super, super pretty. Um, I'm actually spraying it with Elf's Makeup Mist and Set. And um, I'm spraying my brush and applying that again to my lid just to make it more vibrant and more shiny. And then I'm taking Max Nylon and putting that in the inner corners. Makeup Geek's Cherry Cola. I'm putting this on like the outer half of the lash line and then into the lower crease. And not really a cut crease, but I'm making it more precise than I usually would. And then I took a smaller pencil brush and I just winged this out because I wanted it to have a subtle wing. I like like winged looks with the eyelashes that I'm using. 
Um, and then I just add more cherry cola as much as I want. As little or as much. It really depends on your preference. And then I'm blending it out using a, the denser fluffy brush. You can use Peach Smoothie again or Tuscan Sun. It really doesn't matter. Then I'm cleaning up this wing with um, a small, tiny little detailed brush with some concealer. Then I'm curling my eyelashes, applying mascara. This is just L'Oreal's Voluminous. I usually use Maybelline's, like, the Rocket or so, not the Rocket. Well, I use waterproof. And then I'm adding a little bit of black shadow to the inner corners just so that the the lash line is all all one and not separated from the lashes and it's not obvious that the lashes are like they just stop right there. And then I'm taking Max Saddle. You can use Makeup Geek's Latte. It really doesn't matter. This is just a tiny bit warmer, so I wanted to use it, and I had it. You really don't need it. Um, I'm taking this on a small definer brush. I don't know where I got this, guys. I'm sorry. I just have it. I should get a new one. And then I'm blending it out using Tuscan Sun and Max Soft Brown. Max Soft Brown, I just have it. Again, you don't need it. And then I'm putting more mascara onto the bottom lashes. And then I'm taking NYX's Natural Lip Liner and lining my lips. And then I'm going to fill in my lips with Max Jubilee Lipstick. I like this combo for summer. It's, it's nice and glossy without being too glossy. It's not super glossy. It's just like nice, nice little sheen on the lips. And here's a swatch of the two products. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting a lot more. And I'm really excited. So, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.